February 9 Sunday, 5th Sunday in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew Jesus said to his disciples, You are the salt of the earth, but if salt loses its taste, with what can it be seasoned? It is no longer good for anything but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A city set on a mountain cannot be hidden, nor do they light a lamp and then put it under a bushel basket. It is set on a lampstand where it gives light to all in the house. Just so your light must shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord a tremendous responsibility. Salt and light are among the simplest necessities of life, and as it is usually happens with man's basic needs, they are almost always taken for granted. But when food suddenly tastes saltless, and when light is suddenly put out, we are brusquely reminded of how much we need them. When Jesus tells the disciples, You are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. He is giving the disciples a tremendous mission that is of paramount importance. They are important to the world as salt and light are important to daily life. And they cannot relegate this mission without dire consequences to the world. Without the gospel, life would be pale and tasteless and humanity would be without direction. In truth, it is Jesus who gives taste and meaning to human life and preserves it with the destructive influence of sin. It is Jesus who is light and enlightens the heart of everyone to receive God's salvation in faith. But inasmuch as the Christians are branches grafted to the vine and they are Christ-like, they too become authentic salt and light. Someone has come out with a metaphor akin to that of salt and light. Christians, he opens, are peppers of life. Though small fruit, pepper is a condiment that gives pungence to food and by metaphorical extension to life. It wakes up the palate. People take peppers for granted, but when tempests render them, rare and expensive, they missed the taste of food. In like manner, believers are called to be salt and pepper, to wake up the world with the light of the gospel.